Canada's first commercially produced airplane, the Vickers Vedette helped provide a gateway into the mostly uncharted north. Military flyers returning home from the First World War signed on with civil government air operations to begin an experimental project. Flying between lakes and rivers in a region with no paved landing strips, they set out to photograph Canada's vast hinterland from the sky and produce the first photorealistic maps the world had ever seen. Pilots found that the float planes and flying boats that were available in the early 1920s were just too boxy and cumbersome to navigate the twisting waterways of the Canadian North. What they really needed was a flying canoe rather than a flying boat. The answer was the Vickers Vedette. 21 of them were produced for the civil government air operations in 1926. That same year, more than 100,000 aerial photographs were taken, representing nearly 5,000 square kilometers of previously unmapped terrain. In addition to photography, Government Air Ops was asked to demonstrate the value of flight as a permanent feature of life in northern Canada. Pilots took every opportunity to provide speedy transport for the locals, to deliver supplies and medicine, and even help to put out minor forest fires. Before the Air Ops was disbanded in 1932, they had 61 vedettes crisscrossing the north. 